Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the What Comes After Love episode 5 recap, so let's just get right into it. So, in the beginning of the episode, leaving off from episode 4, Min Jun goes to visit Aoki at his book signing and asks him to basically leave, leave Choi alone, and they speak completely in English. I think the significance of them speaking in English is because, number one, um, they can't understand each other's languages, but also even if they can understand each other's languages, English leaves a really convenient barrier to kind of be like, I don't want to have any rapport with you by speaking in your language or speaking any like East Asian language that they can both understand. So that was very awkward. Um, and then Minjin also asks Ayoki to stay away from Hong because she's going to be his fiance. Then in another scene, Aoki's voiceover talks about how Choi ran even on the day of their breakup and that she, he always asks her, like, why did you run so hard? But he never really wanted to know the answer. And then we get a flashback of him as a child and he talks about in the flashback, and this is the voiceover, he talks about how he felt when his mum left and his mum didn't want him to go with him, even go with her, even though he asked, she asked him, like, who do you want to be with your dad or me? and he realized that sometimes he needs to like shut up like he the reason why he doesn't communicate well and he struggles to communicate is because whenever he did actually voice what he wanted it often led to a different result so that's where his trauma with like the lack of communication maybe the lack of understanding the lack of apology comes from in the present Troy reads a letter that um Aoki gave her and she's crying um and then in the past we find out that like Aoki, um, no, sorry, Choi's dad in, was a, is a publisher and like his publishing company was in trouble so that's why she actually went back to Korea um, and they had an argument because again he was working, she called him about it, he didn't pick up and she, the scene where she's yelling at him is basically her saying you never communicate with me, you never apologise, I'm always the bad guy which is why she left and honestly I understand her personally speaking I also think Aoki his trouble with communication really affected their relationship and that's not to say that he's also completely in the wrong because his job was his priority but and to him it's like I see you at home which is what he kept saying but it still feels wrong um, Aoki then meets Choi's dad, who's the publisher of the company that he's signing his book with, and we can tell that he's clearly not listening to what Min Jun said in terms of staying away from Choi. Um, and then she, um, Choi then also has dinner with um, Min Jun because he wants to propose to her, and she tells him, I like you, but I can't be with you, even if I was married to you with three kids there's no possibility of me basically being with you like i it can never happen ever um and then after that she gets flowers for aoki and goes to meet him at well goes to see him i guess at his hotel bar and sees him sitting there eating with his ex and then she's just holding flowers in her hand and she's like mm. so that's the entire episode um this episode was the culmination of understanding like exactly why those two broke up in spite of how in love they were and really emphasize the title what comes after love or the tragedy or the troubles all that stuff everything really came together in this episode where i got to kind of understand both of them Choi's agony aoki's apathy if anything because he actually tries to go and comfort her in the flashback but she's like get off me like which is fair game because he's done it so many times that when it came to the final knell of sorts like he still couldn't be there for her so that's it let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments below if you like my channel please subscribe if you like this video please hit the like button below thank you so much for listening bye